This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Yashim, Yahweh Shai by Yashim, Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect and the one third of Yasha Allah upholding the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of their abilities, peace and salutations. This is the brother Bakwasha, and I want to go into a lesson about wisdom and really how, as scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times or the times in which we're coming into, okay? And the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. And uh, even as Yahweh Shai, you know, was given warning to, uh, to the disciples, um, this is what he said which is, hey, we're not going to go into the ways of the Gentiles. You know, any of the cities that you're going into, you know, if, they, um, if, they, if they're not welcoming, okay, don't even trip, okay, because I'm sending you as sheep in the midst of wolves. You know, these people are looking to devour you. They're looking to destroy the gospel, okay? Um, which is the reason why he commanded us to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And uh, I just really want to use uh, this statement uh, as a lesson and as a, a refresher and a reminder um, that as Babylon is being destroyed, it's losing its power, it's losing its steam. Uh, you know, the, the low blows are coming. The uh, persecution is coming. Okay. Um, them using technology to um, to basically paint a, a bad image or, or try to place a, a black eye, you know, on the truth to remain wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Because that is one of the gifts that Yahweh Shemi Yahweh has given us going into, you know, Sophia. All right. And we're going to get a, a little bit of that. But I just wanted to kind of give the, the backdrop of the commandment that Yahweh Shai gave the disciples and how even to this day, we being uh, those that follow in the footsteps of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, um, we likewise are being wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So let's get this word here for uh, wise. Strong's G 5429. Phronimos. Phronimos. Okay. It goes into being intelligent, wise, prudent. It says mindful of one's interests. Why? Because the ways of this world are set to destroy our people. Okay. Now, when you get into uh, some of the synonyms for that word, it says intelligent denotes one who can put things to things together, who has insight and comprehension. Prudent denotes primarily one who has quick and correct perceptions, hence discreet circumspect. OK, meaning 360 degrees of what's going on, not just one sidedness. And that's what this world wants to promote is just one thought, one, one way. Okay. Which is the way of the world, which is what Esau teaches. Okay. Which is as scripture says, this is a foolishness to you. How by Shimei Abishai. Okay. So let's bring out the next precept. This is second Timothy chapter three, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. 
Okay, so from a child, from before the womb, we've known these holy scriptures. Okay, and we know whom we've learned these holy scriptures from. And to make us wise unto what? Salvation through faith. Okay, these are the ingredients or the intangibles that all men do not have. So utilizing this gift to please Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, okay, these are the things in which he has left for us to show how to actually achieve salvation, okay, which is through Yahweh Shai. He left the Holy Scriptures, okay, pursuant to him loosening the seals in Revelation, the fifth chapter, his blood, his sacrifice, okay, to where we can have this wisdom to be able to maneuver in this world of destruction and decay and corruption. Okay, now let's grab this word here as well for wise. Okay. Strong's G 4679 Safizo. Safizo. And if you can see, it's already going into a little bit of the um, Sophia description, you know. The only difference here is the uh, suffix, okay? If you were to put an A here, it would be Sophia, okay? As a matter of fact, let's grab this root word. The root word is Sophos, okay, which we're going to grab here in a second. But let's get back to uh, G4679. It says, to make wise, teach, to become wise, to have understanding, to invent, okay, to devise cleverly or cunningly, okay? So even as we look at, you know, our, our forefather, you know, Jacob, uh, his name means a uh, supplanter, okay? But how did he supplant Esau? It was through wisdom, you know? He, he used craftiness, okay, on the right-hand side, whereas Esau, the so-called white man, uses craftiness on the left-hand side. Okay, both of these are powers. However, he uses his for evil. We use ours for good or for righteousness. It says to render wise in a sinister uh, ac acceptation to form sophisms or sophisms, continue plausible. Okay, all right, cunningly devised to make wise. Okay, and so that's the point. The point is that. This wisdom, okay, was given unto us for faith and salvation, but it only comes through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay? And this, this wisdom is to, to traverse and to navigate this, this straight gate, okay? Because why? The, this whole system is a pit, okay? It's, it's the valley of the shadow of death. So without wisdom, without faith, okay, literally you're walking blindly. Whereas Yahweh Shai has given us light, okay, to actually walk in his path, okay? That path that he has already set, which is the path to salvation, okay? This is Ephesians 5 and, and this is the point that I was making a second ago. This is Ephesians 5 and 14. It says, wherefore he saith, he saith, awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. Why? Because in this world of confusion, okay, um, not knowing your identity, not knowing your nationality, not knowing your creator, not knowing the creator's name, not knowing the, uh, um, Yahweh, which is the, the name of the heavenly father, nor knowing the, the name of the heavenly father's son, Yahweh Shai. You're sleep, okay? You, you're, you're drunk with the philosophies of, of this world. And it says arise from the dead because you're dead, okay, if you do not have this truth, okay? What does the scripture say? Um, it, is, it is the spirit that quickeneth and maketh alive. The flesh profiteth nothing. What is that spirit? That spirit is the spirit of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Because before that, we were uh, completely blind, 
believing we're, you know, these by words and proverbs that Esau has labeled our people. Okay. So it says Ephesians 5 and 14, wherefore he says, awakest thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Hamashiach shall give thee light. Okay. Verse 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly, which is one of the definitions of wisdom. Okay. Intelligence, prudence. Okay. Knowing what's going on, uh, uh, what's going on around you at all times, not being, uh, not being, uh, paranoid. Okay. But just understanding time and space. Scripture talks about how when a, a wise man's, uh, mind, both just uh or my well, wise man's heart so like it let me just grab it um it says discern it both time and judgment okay con this is ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 5 whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing and a wise man's heart, which is his mind, discerneth both time and judgment. Time and judgment is being circumspect. Okay. Now, this is back in Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Okay. Understanding the time that now is the, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. Okay. Um, and judgment Judgment is knowing that Yahweh Shemiyahu is judging the world in which he created. Okay. It says not as fools, but wise. So let's grab this word here for wise. Okay. Because this is the one that goes into Sophios. I believe that's how I say it. Strong's G 4680. Safas. Sophos. Sophos. Okay. It says wise, skilled, expert of artificers, wise, skilled in letter, cultivated, learned of Greek philosophers or orator, orators, okay, theologians, um, forming the best plans and using the best means for their execution. Okay, now where does wisdom ultimately come from? Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay, but on the left hand side, you know these thruish. These, you know, Greeks, they use it to trap and ensnare people. That's what this system is. It's a trap. It's a snare of the mind. OK, and, and uh, using the flesh, these philosophies, OK, these uh, this new speak, OK, these uh, 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 smooth words, OK, to en ensnare people into their wisdom, which ultimately destroys and corrupts you. OK. Whereas the wisdom uh, that we receive of Yahweh by Shemia Shai, okay, is to benefit the body, to call us back to remembrance, okay, to, to have us understand our, our identity, where we come from, our heritage, okay, that is how we awaken out of sleep. So let's grab these synonyms real quick, okay, synonym says, same thing, denotes wise, skilled, intelligence, okay, discrete circumspect all right so point being here is this wisdom of Yahweh by shimei Shai is given to the hopeful elect okay because as scripture says wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul okay or shall i say the the wisdom of righteousness okay because esau you know is wiser than daniel scripture says that okay but in a wicked way all right so let's grab this next one this is 1 Corinthians 3 and 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, okay, let him become a fool that he may be wise, okay? Meaning putting off the things in which we've learned, the, 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 the fool's uh, system, right? Esau basically telling you things that do not profit, right? Becoming a fool to this world, Okay, that you can become wise to your how by Shemia was shot. All right. And uh, a couple more scriptures and then we'll wrap up. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter nine. And verse 
It says, thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Okay. That I am the Lord, Yahweh by Shemi Abishai, which exercise loving kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. And so point being here is this. People that are, are wise men, your, your Elon Musk, your Steve Jobs, your, um, you know, all of these guys that, that seem to be wise. OK, they're glorying in their wisdom. It says, and let neither let the mighty man glory in his might. You know, this pompous spirit of, you know, being strong and, you know, being able to overcome. That's that's what Esau is doing, you know, thinking he uh, has a military that can stop you by Shimei Shai as he returns. It says, let not the rich man glory in his riches, right? Because riches profit not in the day of adversity. All right. It says, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. And not all men know you how by Shimei Shai. Okay. So I want to go into that word here, uh, understandeth, okay? Because when you gain understanding, when you gain understanding, you're gaining understanding from wisdom and from prudence, okay? And and ultimately, fear of Yahweh by Shemi Shah. That is what gives you the wisdom Okay, to the uh, to be wise as a serpent. Okay, Strong's H seventy nine nineteen, Sahel, Sahel. It says to be prudent, circumspect. Once again, all of these are are essentially the same definitions, except they just have a different uh, or a slight meaning to them. Okay, now this one says circumspect. Okay expert have good success teach understanding to behave self consider make wise to guide wittingly okay with wit so these are the things that Yahweh has given us to where we can understand him okay because this this is this is glory to glory in Yahweh by Shem those are the things that this world will, will never promote. Okay? They that's why this is an anti-Messiah world. Okay, this is not a world of righteousness. This is a world of wickedness. Okay? It says, but uh Jeremiah 9 and 24, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Okay? That I am the Lord, Yahweh by Shem which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. Okay. Um, so why am I bringing up all of this, um, these topics of wisdom? Well, uh, a time or two before the apostles went into, um, basically there's a level of learning. And in those levels of learning, they they are attributed to animals okay and i'm gonna go through this because we've all gone through or or at a stage coming into this truth of learning okay coming out of that darkness coming out of that dead state and being quickened okay by this truth it says one is a parrot two is a monkey three is an owl four is a dragon or a serpent okay and which is the highest being a serpent okay but let's read uh number one being a parrot it says represents the initial stage of learning where one can mimic or repeat information without necessarily understanding it deeply so uh in information but no wisdom okay monkey often symbolizes a stage of learning where one begins to apply and experiment with the information showing some understanding and adaptability meaning you're getting tried okay now that you got a little wisdom you're applying it you're like oh hold on the scripture said 
Okay, uh, if I get pulled over, you know, to agree with the adversary quickly. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Oh man, it worked. Not that, you know, it's a trick, but it's wisdom. So you applied it. Now you have understanding to where you can take into a new scenario. Three, all represents wisdom and deeper understanding. At this stage, the learner can analyze, synthesize, and evaluate information demonstrating critical thinking and insight, which Esau, the so-called white man, does not teach in this world, which is critical thinking, which is now being more dynamic about a situation versus being more linear about a situation. Instead of it being black and white, now being able to flow in the spirit, okay, and understanding um, how things can be viewed or gaining the whole matter of a thing before judging it, okay? So now, okay, in a situation of the deeper understanding, let's use the, the same scenario, you're getting pulled over by a cop or whatever, right? Or whatever these people, Centurion, right? The question is, okay, what could I have done differently to not put myself in that situation? Or if I just happen to fall into that situation, how do I avoid it next time? Whether it be, okay, not driving at, at a certain time or maybe not going into a certain neighborhood or just not putting yourself in, in that predicament. So now you're taking more of the outside learning of the situation that occurred and saying, okay, how can I move uh, uh, with more wisdom to where that situation doesn't happen anymore? More. OK, and now obviously man's goings are of the Lord. OK, so that doesn't mean that you can uh, uh, um, trump. OK, uh, uh, the spirit of Yahweh, Shai. however, in, in the learning process of being an owl. OK, now you are more perceptive. OK, and let me say this as well. Part of the reason why it's an owl, as scripture talks about now, you have that eye salve. OK, or that oil within your eye to where you can see in the dark, the same things that would fool people. Uh, let's use the the scenario of the P-A-N-D-E-M-I-C. Right. So that literally took everyone by storm, except for people that were owls and their wisdom that understood. OK, all of these things that were going on were, were going on in order to do what to uh, entrap and ensnare. OK, people. But the prophets of Yahweh Shai, because we already, you know, have an advantage over Satan, okay, over uh, this world and, and what it's really doing, okay, we used critical thinking, okay, and we analyzed and we evaluated, okay, and we gained more insight because Yahweh Shai is dealing with us, okay? So we used that wisdom, we avoided the things that were coming, okay? Now, Let's go into four and then we'll wrap up Four being a dragon or a serpent. So going back to the, the very beginning of the lesson, why Yahweh Shai told the disciples to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. He could have said be wise as a parrot. He could have said be wise as a monkey. He could have said be wise as an owl. But these are the graduation stages of learning, but they all come through a trial by fire. Okay. It says for dragon serpent, this can symbolize mastery and enlightenment where the learner has not only deep understanding and wisdom, but also the ability to transform and create new knowledge. So, so now in the situations in which we just talked about, right. Um, and it reminds me of a scene in the movie of uh, star Wars where, um, and, and, and if I uh, can find it, I'll put it up in post-production. But Luke now gets pulled over by a centurion, but because he has so much wisdom and so much experience that he's able to now alter the minds of the people or the centurion that pulled him over. You know, like the scripture says, um, yep, Khan, this is Proverbs uh, 16 and 7 it says when a man's ways please the Lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him and so that's that dragon or serpent um, mastery enlightenment okay or deeper understanding to where now you can transform or create new knowledge okay 
because uh, 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 he even told the uh, matter of fact, let's just go back here real quick. This is Matthew 10 and. Ten and eight. Uh, let's start at seven. Yahweh Shah said, and as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out de devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Okay. So point being here is that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, that Yahweh Shai had given the disciples. Now we have the ability to do what? Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out devils. Through what? This truth. Okay. Because uh, 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 as Scripture says, uh, the whole head is sick. Okay. And, 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 and our people are, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So through this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we're able to now help others, okay, come out of that dead state of mind if they are part of the elect, okay? So uh, just wanted to go into that real quick. Uh, let's wrap up. Um, yeah, that's that's all I really wanted to cover. But let's wrap up with uh, Proverbs uh, 9 and 10. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of of wisdom so that beginning is your parent okay you're, you're realizing okay hold on you know i'm coming out of this world of craziness or whatever we've all experienced it now that's the beginning of wisdom your parent okay and the knowledge of the holy is understanding okay so now you're gaining understanding you're gaining circumspect uh, uh perspective right you're now not looking at things just from a tunnel vision you're now uh, expanding that vision OK, as far as understanding the truth, how to maneuver, how to behave yourself, how to uh, uh, flow in the spirit. OK. Um, and then this is Job. Twenty eight, twenty eight. And and unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. OK, so now you've gone from being a parrot to a, to a monkey and now from a monkey to, to an owl because you've been tried throughout all of these situations by wisdom. You can read that in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, and ninth chapters. Okay, read the whole book, honestly. But specifically, it talks about how wisdom will deal with you and try you and take you in ups and downs and lefts and right. You know, you feel like, dang, you know, like, like what's this all about? But it's wisdom really just working with you to build you up from that parrot to that monkey to that all uh, to potentially being uh in that state of mastery okay of a serpent it says and to depart from evil is understanding okay so um really that's all i wanted to cover in the spirit lord will it was edifying salaki salaki for uh being all over the place but uh you know you know how the spirit rolls but uh, let's read this one more time and then we'll wrap up. This is Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents. Hey, and that's what I want to grab is that we're serpents. Yep. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, The water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Uh This word here is. Strong's G, 3789. Office. Office. Con, con, con. It says a snake, a serpent. With the ancients, the serpent was an emblem of cunning and wisdom. The serpent who deceived Eve was regarded as the devil. Okay. And that proves, <laughs> well, sort of proves that the snake wasn't just a, a damn snake. You know what I'm saying? It was a physical, uh, it had a, a spiritual and physical counterpart, or uh, it embodied. Uh, a physical form, not just a an, an animal like a snake. The snake was was the the, the symbology. Okay, it wasn't the, the the physical form. The physical form was a man. Okay, uh, and it says, see, look, it goes right into it. It says, through the idea of sharpness of vision, a snake uh, as a type of sly cunning. An artful mm, man call all of you. How about Shimia? Boom. It's right here in the definition. An artful, malicious person. It's not a snake walking around here, hanging on the tree, whispering sweet nothings in, in Eve's ear. Like <laughs> no. It says a artful, malicious person using wisdom in the left hand way. Okay, to devise a plan, 
Okay. Especially Satan serpent, you know? So, um, yeah, be wise as a serpent. Okay. On the right hand side. Okay. And harmless as a dove. So, uh, Lord will, this was edifying for the elect. Once again, call law, like Yahweh, by Yashim Yahushai, by Yashim Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom.